And then, once again, VC is a scalar in this case. So I'm going to shorten them to be VC squared. All right. You can see clearly that we have common term that we can take it out. And then the rest will be these two um, variables subtracted from each other. But for the next term, the next term is these two terms, in minus out. You can see that these two terms do not have common, common terms because the area here and area there are not the same. Okay? They're not the same. So it is hard to do something like that. So we will need some kind of modification like this. Can I erase this? Let's write down here. All right. Now, for these two terms, I'd like to make these two terms similar in terms of structure so that I can take a common term out. Okay? Between these two terms, we know that 2 pi L will be common. All right? We have tau and we have r in this term. Can I write it down something like this? Can I write it like this? Yes? Okay, this is correct. For the second term, 2 pi l remains the same, but the rest would be r plus delta r and tau rz at r plus delta r, right? Then I'm going to write something like this. Can I do that? If I write something like this, it means that this variable must be replaced by this variable, this uh, position. So right now we take r at r equal to r plus delta r. So when we apply it to everything inside the parenthesis, we take the whole thing, put it in here, and put it at, uh, put it specifically for the tau r z at r plus delta r as well. So you can write down something like this, okay? By doing that, these two terms would have common terms, okay? So the common term would be two pi l. The rest would be R tau R Z at R minus R tau R Z as R plus delta R. Okay, this is in minus out. And then the last term would be force. Any question? The trick like that usually applied whenever you have curvature. 
like in cylindrical coordinate or spherical coordinate. Okay. Once you obtain the equation, then the next task is to determine which pair can be canceled out. First, is these two terms the same? Pressure. Is pressure at z equal to zero and pressure at z equal to L, are they the same? No. There's a mass of water on top of it. So therefore, pressure at z equal to L is supposed to be greater. Okay? So these two terms cannot cancel out. How about these two terms? Are they the same? Yes. We already determined that Vz itself is function of R only. So therefore, it's not function of Z. Vc at different position of Z is supposed to be equal. Okay? So these two become zero. Are these two terms the same? Psychologically, you would say no. Why? Because if you drop this term, there will be nothing left to, to be converted to velocity. So this term must be kept psychologically. Scientifically, it's not the same because momentum transport is not linear. Momentum is transport along our direction. So therefore, they're not constant. Okay? They're not the same. These two terms must be kept. And then the last term must be kept as well. All right? So I'm going to divide everything by 2 pi. Drop this 2 pi. And drop this 2 pi out. OK? And then we have L in these two terms. Let's divide it by L as well. What we have in this part would be, I'm going to say this one called P0, this one called PL. In front of it, it would be R delta R divided by L. Then, next term would be something like this. Okay. Then we divide everything by delta R so that we will have delta R divided here and then we can take limit delta R approaching zero. This term will become differentiation. Okay. So if I rearrange the whole equation just a little bit. Okay? I divide the whole equation by delta R and rearrange equation just a little so that this term becomes on the other side. And when you bring it out to the, the other side, these two terms swap. And then you can take limit delta R approaching zero. That means the size of the shell is very, very thin. And this term becomes differentiation. So it's turned to be differentiation of R tau Rz. The whole these two terms combined with respect to R. Equal to, I'm going to take R out. OK? 
Okay. In this side, can I do this? If I extend the division here, I can multiply by L, right? And then, can I do this? Subtracted by rho g multiplied by zero. It's still zero. Then, I'm going to combine pressure and rho GL. Rho GL is head, right? It's a head of water on top of the pressure. This one are combined together. And this P0 and rho G0 are combined as well. So I'm going to define in the textbook, they use some kind of script font pi equal to rho i subtracted by, I'm sorry, pi subtracted by rho g times i. This is new definition, like pressure zero equal pressure zero here equal to pressure zero subtracted by rho g zero. Pressure as L equal to pressure L subtracted by rho G L. Okay? So if you do that, you get P zero subtracted by P L divided R divided by L multiplied by R. These things here is called modified pressure. Yes? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. This R plus delta R, I'm sorry. The, pro the problem is, the question is, can I bring R divided everything so that this R will cancel out. Can I? That's the question. In this case, you cannot. There's two reasons. First, R here is not R. It's R plus delta R. Because we need to bring this one inside. So this is not R alone. It's R plus delta R. So you cannot divide everything by R. That's the, the first reason. The second reason is, in our system, it is valid for R equal to zero. So R can be zero. You cannot divide everything by zero. So you, need, you still need to keep it. Okay? From this equation, from this differential equation, you can integrate. Once you integrate, the left-hand side become